more per minute, please. The jail is on already. Well, it's too early for them. I don't know why they're on. You might have to call them and let them know they're too early. I'll, I'll deal with it. Let me in. Good morning, everybody. I'm Judge Wong, presiding judge of this division. This is a plea calendar. When you're not speaking, please uh, put yourself on mute. Let me make some announcements and we'll get started. Uh, the proceeding is being broadcast live on YouTube to satisfy the public access to court's requirement. It will be taken down by my court reporter as well. Um, <clears throat> if this is the first time you're here, I'd like for you to take an uh, opportunity this morning and talk to the prosecutor and see what you can do with your case. If you can resolve it, I can uh, take your plea on Zoom. Um, <clears throat> good thing about Zoom is that it's convenient. You don't have to come to the courthouse. The bad thing is that we can only do one thing at a time, so it will require a lot of patience on your part. So just be patient with us. Uh, when you're not speaking, put yourself on mute. When you do speak, please come on screen as well. Unmute yourself and then so I can see you and we can talk. Uh, if you want to talk to the prosecutor, I'm going to put you in a breakout room to see you talk to the prosecutor, see what you can do with your case. If you need to talk to the public defender, if you qualify for her services, I'll do that as well. Uh, when we do take a plea, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go over your constitutional rights with you on the screen with a document. We share a screen, put a document up, I'll go over those rights with you. I would then ask your permission to sign off on your behalf, sign your name to this plea sheet, or put your initials by it to show that I've told you what these rights are. I would do it likewise with counsel. Um, if you have any conditions to fulfill, I will put you in a breakout room with a probation officer and uh, to go over those conditions with you. When we, if you don't have a question, you're free to go after that. If you have a question, come back on screen and ask me. The documents will be uh, forwarded to you, to your email address as we have it, uh, once the sentence has been entered. All right, uh, if you're driving, please pull over. You two with me shouldn't be driving and um, talking on the phone, uh, dealing with Zoom. If you're moving around uh, in a building somewhere, please find a place to stand or sit still. Moving background is difficult to deal with. All right, let me call this calendar. If you're represented by counsel, please let your lawyer make an announcement for you. Uh, Deanna Harrell. She's still trying to connect. I'll come back to her. Kamal Hollins. Akio Hubbard. Uh, Nigel Anija Jackson. Kashana Johnson. I'm here, but I don't think Miss Emily Gilbert is in here yet. Let's see, your attorney is oh, Tanya Clark? Yes. All right, we'll wait for Miss Clark. Uh, we'll see her in a few minutes. You might want to pick up phone call her, okay? Demisha Omike. Yes, Judge, I think Miss um, Demisha is here. That's our case. We can set it for a pretrial. All right. Dwayne Samuels. 
Anthony Smith. I'm present, sir. Mr. Smith, come on screen for me. Good morning. You want to talk to the prosecutor, see what you want to do with your case? Sure, we can do that. All right, I'm Mark Pritchard. Thank you. Um, Mohammed Sose. Amani Thompson. Good morning, Your Honor. Georgetta Glaves Ennis on behalf of Mr. Thompson. I am hoping that I can speak with the prosecutor to resolve this case, Judge, if not today, but to set it down for a plea. We just had some final things to work out. Okay. Are you here with Mr. McEnany or are you new counsel? I am new counsel, Your Honor. I entered this case, oh boy, uh, months ago. This is my second calendar with Your Honor. All right. Very good. Good to see you again. Same here, Your Honor. All right, I'm marking that for a pretrial. Miss Gibbs will be your prosecutor and newly assigned. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the Yaya Williams. Quentin Willis. I'm sorry, the Yaya Williams. Here, I'm here. Sir. Williams, good morning. Uh, good morning. Can I let you talk to Mr. Crandall, the prosecutor, and see what you can do with your case? Please. I'll mark that for a good job. Thank you. Oh my God, I see Gilbert. Good morning, Judge. How are you? Good. How are you, sir? Good. Which one are you here on? Um, Ms. Johnson, Kishana Johnson. I'm not sure which position. Okay. Uh, number five. Um, that's a negotiated plea, Judge. We're ready whenever the court is. Great. Stand by. Yes, sir. Uh, Quentin Willis. Yes, just that's our case. You can mark it uh, for a pretrial. Is Mr. Willis on, Quentin Willis? We don't see him yet. I'll see if he joins. For one second. Uh, deputy at the jail, I don't have court with you until 11 o'clock, but if you ain't got nothing else better to do, I could take you early if you stand by, okay? Yes, Judge Wong. That's why I logged in. I want to be ready for you anytime you're ready for me. I appreciate you. Just stand by, please. Put on you. All right. Uh, let's see. Deanna Harrell, are you on? Yes, I'm here. Ah, Ms. Harold, good morning. Do you have a lawyer? So um, I have a couple of discrepancies with the lawyer that I did have um, and some other events that took place. So I did want to speak with someone about a public defender. Um, All right, just stand by. I'm going to let you talk to Ms. Bauer in a few minutes, okay? Just be patient. Okay. Stay okay. right. All right, let me take Ms. Gilbert's plea on number five on Johnson. Uh, Ms. Gilbert, I have new solicitor assigned since you were last here, so I don't know if they, do you want to talk to them for a minute first and make sure we're on the same page? I can, that's fine. Um, do you want to just put us in a room, Judge, very quickly? Uh, yes, uh, Ms. Gibbs is your prosecutor. Okay. I'm going to put you in a breakout room. But... Okay, thanks, Judge. All right. Everybody will stand by and we'll do pre-trial. Let me take this, please. And there's several pre-trials and you guys can get going. Let's see. I guess um, you, Cheryl, you can put Ms. Bauer in with uh, Mr. Crandall on. I don't know which. Mr. Crandall or number one? No, that's a... Yeah, put, put her in number one. Ms. Ms. Carol, put her in with Ms. Bauer. Okay. Um, Judge, would you mind if I talk to um, Miss Fletcher first, real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. Cheryl, can you do that? Hello. Yes, Miss, Miss Fletcher, just stand by. I'm going to put you in the breakout room. Okay. Please. Should have had a pop up to go into the breakout room, Miss Fletcher.
can put Ms. Williams in with Mr. Crandall. You ready, Mr. Crandall? I'm ready. Rose Williams, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. All right. Ms. Gilbert, we're ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Okay, let's see where Gibbs is. I'm here, Your Honor. All right. Okay, Ms. Johnson, raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth? You're muted. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I do. Gilbert, we're ready. Um, Yes, sir, we're ready. Okay, let's see what it gives you. I'm here, Your Honor. All right. Okay, Ms. Johnson, raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth? I do. All right, what is she, uh, is three counts or four counts in this accusation? What is she pleading to, please? Judge counts two and three uh, as a first offender. One count of simple battery, family violence, and one count of disorderly conduct. Yes, sir. And you want to do this as a first offender plea? Yes, sir. Ms. Johnson, do you understand that you are only entitled to one first offender treatment? And if you use it on this case today, you will not have that later. Yes. All right, when you wish to do that, you talk to your lawyer about this implication. Yes. All right, very well. You're charged with one kind of simple battery, family violence, and one kind of disorderly conduct. You understand both of those charges? Yes. How do you plead to those charges today? Um, I guess I'm supposed to say, <laughs> Ms. Gilbert. It's a, it's... Kishana, it's a guilty plea to okay. counts two and three as a first offender. Yes. So a guilty plea as a first offender for those charges. Very well. Uh, I'm going to put up on the screen for you your constitutional rights that you have. Do you see on the screen the documents as record of defendant prior to entering a plea? Yes, I can see it. That's uh, not very... Hold on, let me try. Oh, is that better? Maybe a little better. Down here in black D, it says in bold black letters that I plead guilty. I am able, I give up the right to a speedy and public trial by jury, the right to have the state prove the case against me beyond a reasonable doubt, I give up the right to be presumed innocent, to confront witnesses against you, to subpoena witness, to testify and offer other evidence. You have a right to assistance of counsel during the trial and the right not to incriminate yourself. You understand you give up these rights if you plead to them? Yes, that's correct. All right, may I have your permission to sign your name to this plea sheet to show that I've told you what these rights are? Yes, permission given, Judge. All right, Ms. Gilbert, may I do that for you as well? Yes, Judge. Very well. And you understand, Ms. Johnson, you are in this plea as a first offender. So whatever the conditions are at the end of that, and when the probation is over, I will probation, if you complete all the conditions, I will sign a discharge dismissing this case at the end of the probation. Okay. All right. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. What state's recommendation? Your Honor, the state recommends the domestic violence intervention program, no violent contact with the victim in 12 months probation. Is she going to be able to complete the program in 12 months, Ms. Gilbert? Yes, Judge, I, I believe she will. We've also, Mr. Newsom and I discussed um, allowing the case to close upon um, proof of completion. 
How many days credit, please? Oh, I don't know. Um, Ms. Johnson, were you, how long were you uh, in the jail, if you remember? Um, I was in there, I believe it was for like maybe a day and a half or two days. Okay. Right. Sentence of the court will be two days credit, two days already served. Ms. Uh, Gilbert, if I'm, I'm, I'm amenable to putting her on probation for 24 months so that she will have ample time to complete the program. And I will close the case upon compliance. Do you okay. Do that? No, yes, that's fine. I'm sorry, Ms. Johnson. I said I did have a question if I was able to. Um, Ms. Gilbert, I, I don't know if you remember, but I was enrolled in the mental health court, remember? And we had to, I had to withdraw from that. I was enrolled in that for maybe six months. And I wanted to know if that time could be used as well. Um, that's when we found out that I shouldn't have been enrolled in that and I should have went a different route. They should have even recommended that for me. Um, well, you know, and I'll let Ms. Gibbs weigh in, Ms. Johnson. So these are two completely separate, different things, okay. right? So unfortunately, if they don't they don't interchange. That would be my understanding, unless Ms. Gibbs has a, another take on that. Okay, no. that's no problem. All right, Ms. Uh, Ms. Johnson, here's here's what I'm prepared to do. I can put you on probation as recommended for 12 months. Or okay. it lengthen the probation time to 24 months to make sure you have plenty of time to complete this domestic violence intervention program, which is 24 weeks, once a week. Once you finish the program, whether it's a 12 months probation or a 24 months probation, I'm going to close out the case. Okay. So as soon as you so so the reason for giving you a 24 months probation is to make sure you have ample time to complete in the event something comes up. So do you, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. I'll agree to the 12 months probation, whichever one you wish to do. Um, I would rather the 12 months probation, me and Ms. Gilbert are under the same page. We would like to get this um, handled as, as well. soon as possible. Very well. Sentence of the court will be credited two days already served, served the remaining 12 months on probation, have no violent contact with the victim, Complete the domestic violence intervention program. Supervision fee is $39 a month. One time administrative fee of $29. I'll close the case upon compliance uh, as a first offender discharge. Okay. All right. Uh, Ms. Gilbert, I'm going to put you and Ms. Johnson in the breakout room with Ms. Crawford, the probation officer. Yes, sir. If you don't have any questions, you're com uh, once you complete the uh, meeting and you're done you you're free to go if you have a question please come back Ms. Okay. Jackson, more question please are you satisfied with the services of your lawyer or lawyers Ms. Gilbert and Ms. Clark or Mr. Clark are you happy with your lawyers Ms. Johnson oh yes I am all right very good okay thank you judge thank you ma'am good to see you yes sir All right, Ms. Uh, is it Glaives in this? Are you, let's see, who are you trying with? I um, I believe you are on, said it's Ms. Gibbs. I thought it was um, Mr. Well. Crando, Ms. Gibbs. I'm going to share with direct traffic on uh, um, pre-trial. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. I'll be right here, man, my needs. Um, Judge, um, Ms. Williams, number 11, I spoke to Ms. Williams and she's not she's not ready to resolve her case today. She wants to be put on a calendar call calendar or um, to, for her case. Ms. Williams, you. Uh, are you going to hire a counsel to represent you? Um, I wanted to try to speak to the public defender to try to see if I could talk to her about it. Very well, stand by. It's just going to take a few minutes, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes. Hi, Judge. Um, can I make a quick announcement? Sure. <clears throat> um, so on position number six, Ms. Demisha Omika, um, she would like our office to no longer represent her. Um, I believe she has 
a stable job now and is able to hire counsel and would like to that's not, not true your honor she i did not say that in any recordings of this video i have not had a stable uh lawyer i've been switched over twice mm -hmm. or three times and i would like a lawyer that's going to actually talk to me about the case and not surprise me every court date that's what i stated mm -hmm. so you guys can verify my job or whatever but my name is demisha fletcher and i've been divorced for two and a half years now i also send in that documentation by mail to your office so no, I'm not satisfied with um, whoever she is. Miss Miss Miss. Fletcher. I've only talked to her one time, and I I just want another lawyer. Miss Fletcher. Miss Fletcher, come on screen for me. Good morning. Good morning. Now, you've been here how many times? several times and i've never actually discussed anything with you your honor well just listen to me your miss stadlander was your lawyer before kate right miss bauer is newly assigned miss this happens actually quite a bit and sometimes yes, this it's a little disconcerting to clients because every time they come to a new lawyer. Mm. But Miss, that's the, not- I previously had Deshaun Jones. He right. was promoted and that's why I was given another lawyer. So I wasn't given another lawyer because Listen. I was not satisfied. Listen. I was randomly Listen. given assigned new lawyers each Listen. time. This time, Fletcher. whoever this- Miss Fletcher, when I'm speaking, please don't interrupt me. Okay, we cannot talk over each other. You're talking over me. Don't talk over me. And stand still, please. Please find a place to sit down and stand still. Okay. All right, so you were here with Jones, Deshaun Jones. Jones has been gone a long time ago. So I don't know what happened to your case. You were supposed to go to diversion. You probably were... She was denied diversion, Judge. I'm sorry? She was denied diversion. That's what I let her know. It took a while for you to be reviewed, and they didn't want to take you. So you were sent back to the trial line to my court. You dealt with Kate Statlander, or Jones and Statlander. They've both been reassigned, so you know how long that's ago. <laughs> that is ago. And Ms. Bauer is newly assigned now. That is your lawyer if you wish to utilize the services of the public defender. If you don't, you're fine. You can go hire your own lawyer or go without. You don't get to pick. You get to take what you got. Okay? So you want to talk to her about resolving your case? I you did in the breakout room. All right. And are you able to resolve the case? Oh, me and her did not see eye to eye. She didn't come with any solution. She said I was going to come talk to you, and I'm talking to you now. All right, so what's a plea offer, State? It was uh, 12 months probation, Your Honor. Uh, pay, any pay any restitution to the victim and no contact with the victim. Uh, we would ask, that would be the recommendation. Well. Wait a minute. So there's no fine, no jail. It, probation is just simply to pay restitution. Yes, Judge. I would. I would ask uh, for a two hundred dollar fine. Well, what is her prior record? Mm -hmm. yeah, does she have a history? Give me one second, Judge. Let me see if I have this file. I don't show anything, but she didn't like she didn't qualify for the version. Why, why, did, why didn't she qualify? Uh let me see Is, what Miss Bauer? She's not there. I'm sorry, Ms. Fletcher. I said, is Ms. Bauer still there? Yeah, Ms. Bauer's right here. I'm here. Give me one second, because I don't think we have a, a 
a clear understanding of why she was denied, Your Honor, or wasn't able to get that answer. But let me see if I can get it real quick. Your Honor, Mr. Thompson's uh, attorney is just having a talk with him regarding the recommended plea. Um, she was asking if she could be added back to the main room. I'm not sure if that's something that Cheryl can do or if she has to do that. On her. You got a lot of reverb. I don't want to, I didn't. Can you hear me now, Your Honor? Yes. I'll go okay. in and help her get back in. Thank you, Cheryl. I was just saying that um, Mr. Thompson's attorney is having a talk with him regarding the plea that we discussed. She thinks that he is ready, but she just wanted to check with him. She also was asking for help to get back into the main room, so. All right, um, on Miss, uh, on, Fletcher. On, Ms., on number six, Miss Fletcher. Uh, yes. Oh, do I have the wrong? She changed her name, Judge. So, okay. so it is Miss Yeah. Mika on here. That's the how it's how it's uh, that was her married name. She's her married name is Fletcher. So oh. she she has some charges in uh Tennessee and Indiana that kept her out. It's not her first offense, Your Honor. So. All right. So uh, are we do you have restitution issue for her on this case or not? I'm gonna take a look. Yes. Take a few minutes. Take a look. If not, would the state be amenable for me to credit time and close her out? Let me give me one second. Dude. Thanks. Uh, what's the facts of the case, Miss Miss Fletcher? Do you want to talk to Miss Bauer again? Uh, we already spoke, Your Honor. So the answer is no. Sure. What What would she like to talk about, Your Honor? I don't know. Oh. Judge, would it be a better use of my time? Do you want me to do applications with the two folks that were looking to apply just while Mr. Crandall looks this up, or you want me to stay here? Just stay right here. Your Honor, the, the allegation in the case is that the uh, defendant was taking money from uh, her roommate in the case, and a camera was set up, and the defendant was caught on camera taking money out of the defendant's room. Uh, I believe it's a small amount of restitution. It's fifty. It's fifty dollars, Your Honor, that she's asking that she's out of that she, I believe, never got back. All right, Ms. Uh, Fletcher, do you wish to uh, talk to the public defender again? The offer in this case is twelve months. No, because I didn't take any money, and I've been saying that the whole time. And there's no proof on no camera that I sold any money. All right, I'm going to end her. Do you wish to talk to the public defender again or not? Sure. All right, Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, Ms. Bauer. But, uh, can you continue to preach right this one, please? Sure. The offer is 12 months probation, pay restitution, $200 fine. Okay, what's the amount of restitution? I'm, go I'm not, I'm not accepting that. I think it's about fifty dollars. About fifty dollars, fifty dollars. Well, we'll get the victim to come in, and if we can't get the victim, there'll be no restitution. Yeah. So if he doesn't want to plea. I'll put her on as a not guilty. Put her on the trial count. Okay. okay. And if she doesn't want to utilize your services. That's entirely up to Miss Fletcher. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you for trying it with her again. No problem, Judge. Okay, Ms. Fletcher, please. Ms. Fletcher, you just have to go back into the same breakout room you were in. All righty. Is, uh, is it Glaives? Glaives yes, it? Your Honor, it's Glaives and it's Judge. We are ready for a negotiated plea on Mr. Thompson's case, Armani Thompson. Very well. Mr. Thompson, come on screen. Raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm the other two? Your I do. All right, very well. And what is he pleading to, please? Your Honor, he's fleeing to counts one 
uh, and two, and we recommend the DUI minimums. We're asking um, for a certificate of first offender so that he'd be able to go to work. Credit first time served. First conviction. First conviction. This, is, this, is, this is not one of those uh, racing cases or street gang racing cases, is it? Just not racing. at all, Judge. It's not, Your Honor. So is he driving to the plane to the per se or the less safe? Miss Innes, um, I, I either way, Your Honor, because it receives the same treatment. I, That's, the less safe would be fine. What, was, safe. what was blood alcohol, please? Point one. All right, Miss Graves Innes, do you wish to plead to the per se or the less safe? Your call. Um, I would say that um, less safe, Josh. All right, Mr. Thompson, you're charged with one kind of DUI, driving under the influence of alcohol, less safe. Count two of this accusation. Do you understand that charge? Yes, Your Honor. How do you plead? Uh, am I supposed to be saying guilty? Be guilty. You understand that you have certain rights that you will give up if you plead guilty. I'm going to put them up on the screen for you. Yes, sir. On this computer screen is your constitutional rights. Says you have a right to a guilty. If you plead guilty, you give up the right to a speedy and public trial by jury, the right to have the state proof case against you beyond a reasonable doubt. To be presumed innocent, to confront witnesses against you, to subpoena witness, to testify and offer evidence, you have a right to assistance of counsel at all stages of the trial and the right not to incriminate yourself. If you plead guilty, you give up all these rights. You understand that? Yes, sir. May I have your permission to sign your name to this plea sheet to show that I've told you what these rights are? Yes, you do. Ms. Graves-Ennis, may I do that for you as well? Yes, Your Honor. Very well. All right. Uh, how many days did you spend in custody, sir? He was in oh. 10 hours, I believe, Judge. One? I believe he was in for about 10 hours or so, Judge. All right. Since so the court will be credit one day already, sir, remaining 12 months on probation, pay a $300 fine plus court costs. That's going to come to about six hundred and seventy dollars, six sixty nine and change. Uh, complete the risk reduction. Perform forty hours of community service. Complete an alcohol evaluation and treatment as required. Attend one victim impact panel and serve a license suspension. I'll issue a certificate of first conviction, which will allow you to drive to and from work until your license is reinstated, which is in about 120 days. Um, probation can become non-reporting upon compliance. Supervision fee is $39 a month and the one-time administrative fee of $29. Ms. Uh, Graves-Ennis, I am going to send to you a driver's license suspension form from DDS. Please have it filled out, get your client sign off, return it. And when you do, I will issue the certificate. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate that, Judge. Uh, Ms., uh, Mr. Crandall, do you have that form to send to Ms. Graves in this, or do I need to get Queenie to do that? Uh, I can get what, what you need, Your Honor. All right. Get, send, send her a form, let her get the client sign off. Send it back, and uh, I'll issue the certificate of first conviction, which I will send to you electronically. Uh, the state will accept that. If you don't see it, call us, and we will follow up, okay? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to put you all in the breakout room with probation officer Crawford. When you get done, you're free to go. If you have a question, please come back and ask. Thank you, Josh. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Drive careful. Thank you, Josh. Right. Girl, put him in the breakout room with profit, please.
Um, let's see. This event is just poor child waiting on this ballot. And Judge number two, Kamal Hollins is on. Yes, Mr. Hollins. Come on, screen for me for morning. Yes, sir. What are we doing for you? You, you were here on a plea calendar in June. We reset it to today. Were you going to hire a lawyer? Um, no, sir. You want to talk to the prosecutor, Mr. Crandall, and see what you can do with your case? Yes, sir. All right. Cheryl, can you put Mr. Hollins with uh, Mr. Crandall, please, for a free trial? Uh, Judge, I think I misspoke on that certificate for Mr. Thompson. I, I don't think we have that for him in our house. I think that was an issue that the, the issue that we had the other day with some of these other cases from Friday. Queenie, do you have uh, that form, the license suspension form? Your Honor, I do not. Let me check through, uh, through my email, see if I have any blank ones. One moment. Mr. Samuels. I see Samuels. Dwayne Samuels. You here? Come on the screen for me. Yes, sir. Come on the screen for me, Mr. Samuels. Good morning. What are we doing for you? Yeah, one second. You want to talk to I am uh, was under the impression. I'm Sorry. I'm getting on camera now. Hey. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you good at a park, right? Pull over, not driving? I am. Okay. Uh, you want to talk to Ms. Gibbs, the prosecutor, about see what you can do about resolving your case? Yes. The last thing that I remember was a pretrial diversion, and then I haven't got any other communication. Have you heard from them about pretrial diversion? No, I don't know if I was supposed to. Was I supposed to do something? Um, I, don't, I, to I don't think so. I think they were supposed to get hold of you. Um, let me. Put your, your, yes. It looks like he received, well, I'll talk to him about whether he received the documents, but he was supposed to show up um, last month on the 2nd and he was a no-show. So they were, they referred the case back to us, but he was approved for diversion. I'm going to put you in a breakout room, Mr. Samuel, with Ms. Gibbs right now and see if we can figure out what happened, okay? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. All right, I'm going to call this lady, this uh, Nigel Jackson on this phone number and see if I can get a response. Latoya, can you hear me? Can you make sure this gets taken down, please? Yes, sir. Thanks.
Uh, Queenie, what's my next in-person date, please? Your next in-person date for now is August the 14th. I think Cheryl sent out that calendar yesterday. And for September, your next in-person date will be September the 12th. Which one is uh, my jam pack or all of them? Not September. Uh, well, we're not doing a 1030. Yeah, so we're we not have room for like two more on the morning calendar. Yes. At 9 a.m. September 9th? September 12th. Okay, I'm going to call this lady. Yes, sir. Ms. Crawford, did you need something? I'm just leaving the breakout room, Judge, so I'm not sure where you all is at with the court right now. Do I need anything with what? Well, uh, I think I want to put you in the breakout room with Thompson and Ms. Blaze Ennis on the DUI. We already did that. We just I just got out of the breakout room with Armani Thompson. You're fine. Just stand by. Miss Crawford, there's no one waiting in line yet. Okay. Okay. Is a judge what is a quill Hubbard? Hello, so we need for someone to come hello. Uh, yes, hello, Miss Jackson. Yes, yes, uh huh, go ahead. Um, this is Judge Wong from DeKalb County State Court. Your name was on my on in the court calendar this morning at nine o'clock. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, I I was trying to call and I couldn't get through. I was trying to call on Zoom, but I couldn't get through. Well, um, do you have Zoom capabilities? Or can you log on on Zoom? Yes, yes, I can. Uh -huh. Do you have um, capability with an interpreter? to talk about your case this morning on Zoom, or do I need to bring you into the courthouse? Would that be easier? No, I can do that. I can do that. All right. Um, do we have your email? Uh, it's N-Y-J-A-H-C-O-R- D O D A number two at gmail.com. Uh, Niger, M I J A H, Cordoza, C O R D O Z A two at gmail.com. Uh, yes, that's correct. All right, I'm going to uh, make sure that it is Cordova with a V as a victory. Ah, uh, the uh, C yeah. C O R D O V A two at gmail.com. Yeah. All right, all right, just All right. Stand by. I'm going to send you uh, the Zoom link. Uh, let's see, Cheryl, can you do that? She has the Zoom link. All right, you have you should have the Zoom link, ma'am. Can you log on, please? Okay. Yes, she said yes. Uh, Judge, you? I have an announcement. Just whenever you're ready. Just one minute, please. No problem. That's pretty amazing that you can call and have a sign language interpreter. What is this age? 
So the 716 is a sign language interpreter service? Um, well, I work, yes, yeah. we're in communication. Huh. So when I call this phone number, how do I, how do you know to reach out to Mrs. Jackson? Is that a number specifically assigned to her? Uh, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Um, well, she has it um, with her phone. So when uh, she calls you or you call her, or someone calls her, it goes everywhere. Yes. Wow. And and tell me the name of your company again, please. Sorenson. S O R E N S O N. Very good. I'm I'm the judge on the case, so I'm just this is amazing for me that I can do this. Yeah. Um, she says she has an ID number. Okay, ask her if she can log on, please. And I assume you will stay with her when you log on so you can interpret for her. Okay. Um she says. <laughs> Okay, she says, yeah, I'm on there. I think I'm on there. She's there. <laughs> Would you go by some other name other than Nigel Jackson? Okay, I don't know. Wait just a second. She put me on hold, and so all right, you feel right now. All right, man. Just, yeah, okay. Just, <laughs> just stand by for me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, all right, Ms. Bauer? Um, yes, Judge. If we could get um, position number six, Miss Omega, um, Miss Fletcher now um, just set for a trial calendar. I don't know if you'd prefer that we do a calendar call date first, yeah. but she's out of state, so. Does she, does she wish for you to represent her? She does. We we talked a bit, Judge. All right. Well, I don't want to speak for her, but I believe she does. I'm going to put you on the October calendar call, please. October the 6th. October and 9 o'clock. Yes, Judge. Ms. Uh, Fletcher, if you are able to work out this case between now and October the 6th. Okay, then... she says, can you please resend the email one more time? I will, Judge. Okay, it's coming. Yeah. All right, Ms. Fletcher, come on screen for me, please. Did she just fall off the call, Judge? I just saw her two seconds ago. Um, she's not on anymore. I'll let her in if she comes back. Okay. Okay. Um, Judge, I can send her. She just sent me an email a second ago, so I can um reply back just with that date. Very well. October the sixth, and if she doesn't work it out, if she wants to work it out between now and then, fine. I can take a Zoom plea, or she needs to be present on October the sixth. Please make sure she has signed notice. Okay. Yes, Judge, and um, if she. Because she is out of state, um, if uh, if we're able to work it out, you said we'd be able to get her back on a virtual calendar to take the plea. Yes. Okay. All right. I will. I will let her know. Thank you. If she doesn't work it out, I'll just assign the court date. It's no point for her to come on October the sixth. That was going to be my next question. Thank you, Judge. Okay. Um, who are the two um, individuals? Number one, Dan Harold. And Williams, number 11. Number 11. Okay, do you want me to take them first, or do you want to, when do you want to handle the jail, Judge? No, go ahead and take, take them, and then... Okay, let have... me go ahead and... Um, Hold on, let me ask, is everybody going to plea out on the jail? What are we doing? Um. Yes, Judge, we have... Um, yes, um, let me All get right. the jail calendar. We're going to have a number of pleas with the jail. 
No, Mr. Hollins is wanting to enter a plea number two on on, our, on this calendar. All right. Uh, let me let me do this. I'll take Hollins, and then I'm going to take care of all the jail, and then we're going to have our time for pretrial. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, Judge. Okay. So you don't want me to put number one in with PD? Okay. Madam Interpreter, I'm, I'm yeah. so, thank you so much for your patience. Um, this is like hurting cats. I've got, yeah. I've got computer screens going. I'm waiting for Ms. Jackson to come on screen. I don't see her. We've sent her a new link. So if you just stand by and then if you don't hear from me in a few minutes, just speak up and then I'll come right back to you and see where we are, okay? Okay, thank all, you. All right, my last one is W-O-N-G. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Collins, come on screen for me, will you please? All right, sir, raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm, tell the truth? Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right. What's he pleading to, please, Mr. Crandall? Uh, he would be playing to count one and count three. And what? State what, for What's the recommendation? Uh, it would be 24 months probation to complete the domestic violence intervention program. Uh, we would also ask that he complete five child impact classes as, as a um, on count three, the cruelty to children, as this did happen directly in front of a two-year-old child, Your Honor. That's uh, the striking of the of the victim, uh, and I have no contact with uh, the victim in the case, Miss Sutton. What about the child visitation? Uh, I don't have any. Uh, do you do you see your children, Mr. Hines? Yes, sir. I do. I just had it this weekend. Right. This past how, do you, how do you typically um, get your children? You go by the house and get them? We'll meet up or she'll just drop them off to my house or I pick them up from her house. We How we always done. Uh, typically, when I order these no contact, I would say... <laughs> <laughs> That, excuse me, that child visitation be conducted through a third party. Somebody pick up, somebody drop off. Now, is that a problem? No, sir. Okay. Okay. She says, oh, can I have your email and see if I can do it that way? No. Um, I have too many people involved to do it that way. I, I cannot do it on email. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to handle two things at one time, so I'm, I'm sure the record sounds a little disjointed. All right, Miss, how many days credit do you serve in jail, Mr. Collins? Um, I think I was there like two days and a half, three days maybe. All right, I'm gonna give you credit for three days already served, okay? Yes, sir. All right, uh, did I swear you yet? No. Yes, sir. All right, sir. You're charged with one count of family violence battery and one count of cruelty to children in the third degree. You understand both of those charges? Yes, sir. How do you plead? Guilty. All right, I'm going to put up on the screen for you the rights that you have. If you plead guilty, you give up certain rights. You give up the right to a speedy and public trial by jury. You give up the right to have the state prove the case against you beyond a reasonable doubt to be presumed innocent, to confront witnesses against you, to subpoena witness, to testify and offer evidence, give up the right to assistance of counsel to aid the trial. Hold on, I'm doing something else. Just stand by, please. The right to assistance of counsel during the trial and the right not to incriminate yourself. You understand you have to give up these you give up these rights by pleading guilty today. Yes, sir. You also understand under federal law on the plea to family violence battery, you are not allowed to use, possess, or own any firearm. 
Yes, yes sir. Do you have any weapons? Not with me, no, sir. Do you own any weapons? Yes. You are not allowed to own weapons under federal law. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. You are to require to dispose of all those firearms. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. This is very serious. You are not allowed to have guns. Where do you live, sir? You saying during this time or you saying ever? Ever. You're done. No guns. I, yeah, I was already told that when this first took place, so I already was prepared for that. All right. Where do you live, sir? In Sandy Springs. All right. When you report to probation, you have to bring in all your firearms. Do you understand? Okay. If you only use any when you're on your reporting date, you have to turn in your firearms. Yes, sir. All right. Sense of the court will be credit. Right. Thank you. Four days, Your Honor. Four days. All right, Mr. Hollins, may I have your permission to sign your name to this plea sheet to show that I've told you what these rights are? Yes, sir. And you don't want a lawyer to represent you? No, sir. All right. Since the court will be credit four days already served, so the remaining 24 months on probation. Condition of probation is to have no contact with the victim. All child visitation must be conducted through a third party. Complete the domestic violence intervention program, five child impact classes. Probation can become non-reporting upon compliance. Supervision fee is $39 a month. One-time administrative fee of $29. If you complete the classes on a timely basis, I will waive the supervision fee. Any questions? No, sir. All right, Cheryl, put him in the breakout room with uh, Probation Officer Crawford, please. Madam Interpreter, I don't see Ms. Jackson on our computer screen. You know what? I'm just going to reach out to her later on in the day on her, uh, get the prosecutor to call her directly. Yeah, it, so do I call this number if I were to want to speak to her later? Yes. All right, let me try that again, because I've got 60,000 people on screen. I will just reach back out to her later on in the day, okay? Okay, okay, yeah, she said that's fine, that's fine. Uh, so what do you want, what is it, like, about what time do you think she said? I'm not sure I'm going to have either Mr. Mr. Crandall, C-R-A-N, no, I will be calling, I'm the judge, I don't know it will be late morning. I will try back again, okay? Uh, can you tell me where she lives, please? Or where does she live? Um, I live in... Uh, I live in Sandy Springs. Okay. And I'm Oh, Niagara. I live in Niagara Falls, New York. Okay. Um, all right. I will I will reach back out to her later on in the day. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay, wait, she says uh, she has uh, to fill out uh, papers with the insurance company. Uh, she has to fill that out. 
Um, and so there might be a moment that you kind of call back, but she said, I will try to wait on that until I hear back from you. Oh, okay. It might be a little bit because I've got other things. Tell her I will call her. If I don't reach her, I'll, I'll keep calling her until I do. Okay, okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. All right, we took care of Hollins. Let's take care of all the jail cases and then we can pretty try the others. Everybody stand by and be patient. I'll get back right to, to you. All right. Um, Yes. What are we doing with number two, Mr. Gibson? Judge, Mr. Gibson was requesting to enter a NOLO plea. Um, he is on felony probation for, I believe, another several years. So I was also going to see if we'd consider removing the non-reporting probation out of our courtroom, just since he's already being supervised. Um, but Have you verified that? Yes, I, I looked at the sentence. It's under 17 CR 4289. He's got a 15 to 5. So he uh, will be on probation for another 10 years ish. A little. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> Mr. Crandall, stay opposed to credit time and close on the NOLO. Uh, no, you're All right, Mr. Gibson, come up, please. Gibson, come up, please. Raise your right hand. Your hand. <laughs> Do you swear? Do you I'm swear? Yeah, it's good. Yes. You can put your hand down. All right, sir. State charges you one kind of shoplifting, theft by shoplifting. Do you understand that charge? Sir. How do you plead? No. You understand the rights that you will give up if you plead no law. I'm putting it up on the screen for you. You have a right to a jury trial. You have a right to have the state prove the case against you beyond a reasonable doubt. To be presumed innocent, to confront witnesses against you, to subpoena witness, to testify and offer evidence. You have a right to assistance of counsel, and you have a right not to incriminate yourself. You understand if you if you plead no contest, you give up all these rights. That's correct. May I have your permission to sign your name to this plea sheet to show that I've told you what these rights are? Yes, sir. Are you satisfied with your lawyer, Ms. Bauer? Yes. Ms. Bauer, can I do that for you as well? Yes, Judge. All right. Uh, follow the recommendation. Sentence of the court is credit 11 days and close the case. All right, Mr. Gibson, have a seat. All right. Um, let Judge, me can, I have a, can I have a case number? I'm sorry. This is number two. You have a C number, Mr. Crandall? And Judge, if I may interrupt for just a moment, I don't have those accusations um, in the queue this morning either. Okay. Then uh, I forgot we didn't get a chance to, we didn't have a, they hadn't been filed yet. Do you have a case number? Uh, He's not going to have it, Judge, because I they have to file them through the queue first so that I can roll it over. So I have to get them from the solicitor's office in order to give you guys the C number. All right, Mr. Ms. Bauer, may I plea him and supplement with a correct accusation case number later? That's fine with us, Judge. All right, this is position number two, Gibson, Douglas, Gibson. The case number on the calendar is 23S-0024. 
0003931. The state will supply an accusation number afterwards. The defense waives any defect in the accusation. Is that correct? Yes, Judge. Very well. All right. I assume this is going to be what I have to do for all these cases. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Let me have uh, Raymond Bill or Ramon Bill. Come up, sir. All right, sir. How do you pronounce your last name? The jail's on mute. Yes, we can hear you. It's Raymond Bill. All right, Mr. Raymond Bill, raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm? Tell the truth. Yes, sir. All right, you're charged with one kind of family violence battery. Do you understand that charge against you? Yes, sir. How do you plead? Yes, sir. All right, this is position number six. Uh, Four. Sorry, number four, L L L L L L L L Joseph Raymond Bill. Yes, sir. Is case number 23S003925. Defendant is charged with one kind of family violence battery. Do you waive defect in the accusation, Ms. Bauer? Yes, Judge. And that could be supplemented after we plead. Yes. All right, very well. Um, Mr. Raymond, though, you understand that if you plead guilty, you give up certain rights that you have. I'm going to put them up on the screen for you. You give up the right to have a trial, speedy and public trial by jury. You give up the right to have the state prove the case against you beyond a reasonable doubt. You give up the right to be presumed innocent, to confront witnesses against you, to subpoena witness, to testify and offer evidence. You give up the right to assistance of counsel during the trial and not to incriminate yourself. To understand these rights you're giving up by pleading today. Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, can I have you, are you satisfied with your lawyer, Ms. Bauer? Yes, sir. May I have your name, your permission to sign your name to this plea sheet to show that I told you what these rights are? Yes, sir. Can I do that for you as well, Ms. Mauer? Yes, Judge. All right. You understand what the sentence is going to be, Mr. Raymond, though? You got to do a domestic violence intervention program. Yes, sir. All right. Since you also understand under a family violence battery charge, federal law will not allow you to own use or possess any kind of firearm. You understand that? Do you own any guns? Never. Never have. You're not permitted to own any weapons from now on. You understand that? All right, sentence of the court will be credit 11 days already served, served the remaining 12 months on probation, complete the domestic violence intervention program, have no contact with the victim, Probation can become non-reporting upon compliance. Supervision fee is $39 a month and a one-time administrative fee of $29. Judge, would you consider, uh, my notes said we weren't, we were going back and forth a little, but would you consider letting it probation close after he does DVIP or just non-reporting? Um, um, I, will, I will reconsider that at the end of the case. Okay. He finishes the program. He comes to you and says, I want to close out probation. I will certainly look at it. Okay. okay. Um, Mr. Raymond, though, I'm not opposed to doing that, but you get done with the program first and we'll talk about it. All right. Excuse me, Judge. Sorry for the interruption. Could you repeat the sentence one more time, please? Yes, just a second. Do you hear me, Ms. Raymond, though? Yes, I can hear you. Sense of the court will be credit 11 days already served. Remain 12 months on probation. Complete domestic violence intervention. Have no contact with the victim. Probation non-reporting upon compliance. 
Supervision fee is $39 a month, a one time administrative fee of $29. I will waive the supervision fee on timely compliance with the program. Mr. Raymondville, what is your telephone number, please? 561 Say it again. If you got a mask on, pull your mask down and speak slowly. Judge, I have it. Do you want me to give it? Yes. Um, 561-888-1082. Okay, Mr. Raymond, though, you are to report to probation within 72 hours from your release. So you right. get out of jail, you check in by Friday, latest Monday morning, you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. That is the, on the, on, in the DeKalb County Courthouse, state court probation in the administrative tower. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, Ms. Crawford, what floor is your office on, please? Third floor. Third floor of the administrative building of the courthouse, state court probation. Yes, do you understand? What time do you want him? Between 9 and 11 a.m. That's fine. Mr. Raymondville, if you do not appear, you will be in violation of your probation and I will issue a warrant. Do you understand? Yes, All right, that'll be the sentence of the court. Have a seat, please. Thank you. So put on the uh, put on the um, sentence sheet report within 72 hours from release. Report to probation, state court probation within 72 hours from release. All right, Ms. Crawford, you got his phone number, 561-888-1082, please. Could you repeat that, Judge? 561-888-1082. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Raymond, do you have seen? All right, let me have Mr. Smith, Marion Smith. <clears throat> Ed, raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm? Tell the truth. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. You put your hand down. They charge you with one kind of obstruction of a police officer. You understand that charge? Sir. How do you plead? How do you plead? Guilty. You understand that you have certain rights on the screen that I'm showing you. You have a right to a trial. You have a right to have a state prove the case against you beyond a reasonable doubt. You have a right to be presumed innocent, to confront witnesses against you, to subpoena witness, to testify and offer evidence. You have a right to assistance of counsel and right not to incriminate yourself. If you plead guilty, you give up these rights. You understand that? Yes, sir. Can I have your permission to sign your name to this plea sheet to show that I told you what these rights are? Yes. Are you satisfied with the services of your lawyer, Ms. Bauer? Yes. All right, Ms. Bauer, can I do that for you as well? Yes, Judge. I'll follow the recommendation. Sentence of the court will be credit 19 days, pay a $300 fine. The fine is suspended and close the case. Credit 19 and close in essence. Um, clerk, you got it? Credit 19, $300, suspend it, close the case. Yes, Judge, thank you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Smith, you may have a seat. <clears throat> what are we doing with Richardson? <laughs> Judge, on Richardson, I spoke to him for a little while yesterday, um, and he he's the sole, he has sole custody of his six-year-old son, and his job at the Cheesecake Factory is holding him, his position open until the end of the month, 
So we would be asking your honor to reconsider just the number of days that you're requiring in custody, but we would admit the technical violations. What you, uh, what's today? Uh, today is the 19th judge. Um, so the end of the month and with the time he served, um, we would be asking for a revoke 24 days and close um, so that he would be back out ideally in time to get his job. Um, so wait a minute, if I re revoke him 24 and credit 11 and close, is that what you want me to do? That's what we would be asking, yes, Judge. All right, Richardson, I'm going to give you a lifeline. You didn't report. I should lock you up for a couple of months. Yes, sir, I understand. You didn't do anything. All right, sentence of the court will be 24 days, credit 11, and close the case. Really appreciate it. Stay out of trouble. Uh, Queenie, are you going to write that sentence for me on the probation order, please? Uh, uh, Santeria has it, Your Honor. She's got the uh, verification sheets. We got it? Yes, uh, Judge, I have it. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I have a question. What's your question, Mr. Richardson? Um, is it um, so? Do I say it's the thirty first this month? Or? Yeah. So you should be getting out the thirty first. Is there enough time, sir? Is there enough time? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. All right. Thank you, Joe. Okay, Jill. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Judge. Judge, I'm working on these accusations right now, so we'll get uh, C numbers. We should have everything done. Not too. Judge, while he's doing that, um, unless you need me for anything else, can I go do the applications with the two individuals that wanted to apply? Absolutely. Please go pre-try whatever else you need yes, to. Judge. Let's see. That's um, position one and... To, hold on. You need to talk to Deanna Harrell. Mm -hmm. um, Dwayne Samuels. No. No, you're... To talk to the prosecutor. And Anthony Smith is going to talk to the prosecutor, to Miss Gibbs. And um and Williams that wants to talk to you. Oh, Dariah Rose Williams. Okay. So position number one and position eleven. Correct. Okay. Um whoever made the announcement first, I guess, Miss Cheryl, can I go into breakout room with them? Miss Harrell, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I can go back in my breakout room if. Yes, you're... I'm going to put her in there. Okay. And thank Mr. You. Smith, Anthony Smith needs to go in with Ms. Gibbs. No, I think she also needs to speak to the public defender. Okay. Your Honor, I spoke to Mr. Samuels. He is interested in the diversion program. I'll just make sure that we get that information out to him. Are he you, did not. Are you referring the case to diversion? Yes, Your Honor. It was actually accepted um, back in May, but Mr. Samuels uh, did not receive the information. So he was this is happening too often where a defendant is just saying, you know, it's accepted. I've never got anything, you know, and I'm just so tired of this. Ms. Gibbs, did you uh, confirm his contact information? I did. 
All right, I'm going to put him on the October pre-trial. Sorry, October calendar, October 6th, 9 o'clock. Mr. Samuels, come on screen for me. Yes, sir. Hopefully, they will send you information about getting into the program. <clears throat> I'm going to put you on a calendar call at the courthouse on October the 6th. We'll send you a notice. So it's a long time between now and October, right? So you should hear fairly shortly. If you do not hear from uh, the referral in 30 days, I want you to contact the prosecutor's office. Do you understand? Would it be, Yes, sir. Would it be possible to maybe get that contact information emailed to me? Uh, yeah. Uh, David, they're going to send that to you. If you already given them your uh, proper address, you need to pull over, please. If you give yes. them the proper address and email, they will reach out to you, okay? Understood. And, but if, just in case, I don't want to have to do this over and over, and it's frustrating for you as well as for me. If you don't hear in 30 days, I want you to call Ms. Gibbs, the prosecutor, right here. What's your phone number? Your... Ms. Gibbs is going to send you a phone number in your email so that you know how to reach her. If you don't hear from uh, the, the diversion program in 30 days, I want to put it on you to call her, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, good luck. See you, see you in October otherwise. Uh, if you're in the program by October, I'm not going to worry about this case. As, as soon as you complete the program, I'm going to dismiss it, okay? Thank you, sir. Okay, good luck. All right, Ms. Gibbs, do you want to try and pre try Anthony Smith, please? Yes, Your Honor, I'll be in the breakout room. Mr. Smith, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Okay.
Hi, Judge. Um, I have an announcement just on Ms. Harrell whenever you're available. Yep. Um, she is going to qualify, and we just asked for a calendar call date so we're able to get discovery. About October the 6th. October 6th sounds good. <clears throat> okay, Ms. Harrell. Ms. Um, <coughs> Bauer will represent you. <coughs> Stay in <laughs> Excuse me. Stay in touch with her if there is a way or a chance that we could work it out before October the 6th. Ms. Bauer will put it on our Zoom plea calendar and we can resolve it, okay? Okay. And is October the 6th is that in person or is it virtual? It's in person. In person. Okay. You in are you in Georgia? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. So all right, Miss. Uh, just stay in touch with Miss Bauer. She'll triage this case for you. Okay, thank you. All right, good luck, Miss Bauer. I put Miss Williams in your breakout room already. All right. We are on our number eight with Mr. Smith. Yes. He is ready. Um, we've negotiated a plea to count one. All right. Statutory minimums. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. <clears throat> um, Ms. Doss, I don't, I don't see her. Did she leave the call? Let me check. She's just not in the breakout room. I can go back. She's in there. That's so weird. I know. She just come back. Cheryl, can you put uh, Mr. Willis in with uh, Mr. Crandall to please, number 12? Miss Williams, go back into the breakout room, please. Okay, sorry. I, I was trying to figure it yeah, out. That's okay. All right. Put Willis. Put who and where with who, Judge? I don't see a Willis. Quentin Demetrius Willis, number 12. He's not on the Zoom. Mr. Willis, are you here? And I believe he's Miss Bowers. Case. Oh, yeah, right. right, right. Sorry. Miss uh, Miss Bowers, did you? Where is she? Oh, she's, she's in the breakout room. All right, let me take Mr. Smith, please. Mr. Smith, come on the screen for me, will you please? All right, sir, raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth? Uh, all right, sir. State charges you with one kind of driving under the influence of alcohol, let's say DUI, let's say. Do you understand that charge? Yes, sir. How do you plead? Guilty. You understand the rights that you will give up. If you plead guilty, I'm going to put them on the screen for you. This document. And the, in block D, it says if you plead guilty, you give up the right, or I waive, or I give up the right to a speed in public trial by jury, the right to have to say prove the case against you beyond a reasonable doubt, to be presumed innocent, to confront witnesses against you, to subpoena witnesses, to testify and offer evidence, to give up the right to assistance of counsel during the trial, and the right not to incriminate yourself. You understand if you plead guilty this morning, you give up these rights. Yes, Your Honor. May I have your permission to sign your name to this plea sheet to show that I've told you what these rights are? Yes, Your Honor. You do not wish to have a lawyer represent you today? No, Your Honor. All right. Um, <clears throat> State's recommend. How many days did you spend in jail, sir? Three. Say again. Three days, sir. Three? Hi. Yes. Hi. Sorry. All right. Send three, three days. Credit three days, sir. Remaining 12 months on probation. Damn, hold on a second. Pay a $300 fine plus court cost. Is there any way we could reduce the court cost at any point? I'm sorry? Any way we could reduce the court cost? I, I can't do that. That's by law. I'm required to do a statutory minimum. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'll give you some alternatives. $300 transport costs, 
that's going to end up to about $669. Complete risk reduction, which is DUI school and alcohol evaluation and treatment as required. Attend one victim impact panel, serve with license suspension. Uh, did you have a driver's license at the time? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to go I'll issue you a certificate of first conviction that will allow you to drive to and from work um, until your license is up, eligible for reinstatement, which is in about 120 days. Supervision oh. fee is $39 a month, one time administrative fee of $29. Probation can become non-reporting upon compliance. All right, so here's, here's what we can do <clears throat> about the money. All fines and fees can be worked off in community service at the rate of $10 per hour. So if you don't have or do not wish to pay money, we can uh, find you some community service work and you can work it off, okay? Okay. Um, I'm going to put you in a breakout room with probation officer Crawford, who will give you further instructions about where to report and how to do all of this stuff. All right. Okay. No problem. Okay. So after that, if you don't have any questions, you're free to go. If you do come back, um, hold on a second. Ms. Gibbs, do you have a license suspension form you're going to send to him? I do not have that form, Your Honor, but I can speak we'll to Queenie one. and find it. We'll find one and email it to him. Mr. Smith, when you get that license suspension, fill it out, sign it, send it back to me. I'll send it back to Ms. Gibbs. When I get it, I'll send you the certificate of first conviction, which allows you to drive, or which, which you can take the Department of Driver Services will issue you a limited permit to drive. Okay? Okay. So don't you can't drive before then. So the sooner you get it and get it back to me, I'll get the form to you. Not a problem, Your Honor. All right. Any questions? Uh, not at this moment, no. All right. Good luck. If you do, come back on screen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Crandall. Yes, Judge. Let's talk about this Jackson, the, the Jai Jackson case. Number four, Number four. the deaf lady. Uh, 
Miss Johnson, Krishana Johnson, is that what Jackson. Oh, Nigel Jackson. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> it's the first offense. Do you have a report? I do. Give me one second. Is that my case? I have it right here. Uh, yes, sir. It, uh, it was an argument between the defendant and her child's father. Uh, and uh, he has uh, scratches on the right side of his face. Uh, where he stated she had hit him in the face after argument about cheating allegations, Judge. About what? Cheating allegations. Oh. Yes, sir. Well, she's in Niagara. She's a death defendant. Right. right. What are we going to do with this one? She served eight days, Your Honor, on this case. So, um, she's, let me see what contact. I don't think we had, uh, we don't have any notes where the, with the victim or anything. So uh, it's a first offense. Uh, do you, do you have the ability to reach out to the victim? Yeah, I reached out um, on the 14th and I reached out on the 5th and I, I, I left, a, I couldn't leave a voicemail on the 14th, on the 5th. I did where I either both times I couldn't leave a voicemail, but I reached out, but I'll reach back out again, Your Honor. Um, if we don't have a victim and she's in Niagara and a death defendant, we could the state be, be amenable to not crossing the case if she did some sort of program in New York and provide proof. I'll do. We'll, we'll do our own version of the version. Yes, sir. Um, that that would probably save everybody some headaches. And a lot of headaches. So if she, if if she do some kind of uh, anger management class in New York and send us proof of that, uh, would the state be inclined to dismiss the case? Uh, I would have to get. Uh, why don't you get this, approval? Don't you approval. Can get approval. Yeah. You know, she's dead. She lives in Niagara. You can't reach the victim. So it, it just sounds like to me that it's just a lot of we're putting ourselves to a lot. For, yeah. So if, if the state is agreeable, I will sit then get, well, you have her email address and maybe I'll get the public defender involved and in just appoint her. And negotiate the plea that way. Okay, I'll uh, get that paperwork submitted uh, to Mr. San Miguel today to see if we can get approval. Yeah, you know, see. If that'd, be, that'd be terrific. In the in the meanwhile, I'm just going to move her over for a couple of weeks, uh, maybe thirty days or so, so you can get answers to me. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, and so I'll, just, I, I'll just do this on the email route and get her, keep everybody in on. Yes, sir. But can, I wanted to ask about number four on the, the jail plea calendar. I was doing the accusations, but I was signing them, so I was going for my computer. Mr. Raymondville, he, yeah. pled, he pled to uh, battery family violence? Yes. Okay, just that charge. Okay. And that's all I got is one count on that one. Okay. And it was a 12 month probation, DVIT. It's a 12 months probation, DVIT, no contact, non reporting. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get that accusation completed right now. Judge, I have the, I'm sorry, I have the case number for position two on the jail calendar if you guys are ready for it. Yep. 
It's 23C03370. Okay. Uh, Ms. Brown on Richardson number five on the jail calendar. You know how to do the handwriting sentence on that one? Yes, Judge. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you receive it already, Judge? I don't know. I hadn't looked yet. Okay. Mr. Smith, you have a question? I think he might have been trying to just leave the breakout room and instead came here instead of getting off. Uh, where's Bauer? She's still returning. Yeah, yeah she's still in the uh, breakout room. So take a look at number three, Akil Hubbard. What's the status of that, please? Judge Akil Hubbard, he has sent several emails uh, asking about his court date, and we've sent him the link, and each time he never signs on. So he, he'll, he will... Um, email like a day or so after court, but he never signs on, and he the, the link was not kicked back. All right, S send him a, uh, can you squeeze him in in October, I'm sorry, in uh, August in person, or we three full? Uh, it had to be September, uh, Your Honor, at uh, 9 a.m. All right, send him a September, what is it? Uh, September 12th at 9 a.m. Okay, and then send him our usual, be here, or I'm going to issue a bench warrant for you, okay? Yes, Your Honor. And just for number four, would you like me just to put that on just on the 30 days, just a status? Yeah. Okay. What, give me the date. Uh, August 16th. I'm going to email her and tell her what we're doing. I might get Bowers to rep uh, appoint Bowers to represent her. So we can just have some communications. Sure, number nine, what's the standard of uh, all? Um, number nine, it was preacher Mohammed, so say, what's the status on that, please? It looks like it was a diversion, so I guess the state would have to Is that the chime diversion? in on that. Not approved. Give me one second, Judge. I don't. I don't believe this is a diversion case. I believe it was sent back to the trial line. Um, and I did get try to give him a call, Judge. It just went straight to voicemail both times. All right, send him a um, October, September twelfth in person, please. Okay. Yes, that is true. That is correct, Aaron. It was uh, he was not admitted into uh, goals A because he no showed on uh, July seventh. You know, this is a little frustrating because 
you talk to the defendant, they always say, oh, and I never got anything. And the state says, oh, we sent everything, but they didn't show up. The criminal, he said, she said. Sort of like a red light case in the civil. Where's Bowers? Jesus. So many. Do you want me to go in there? Yeah, go find out what's going on. I sent you a text. She says she's wrapping it up and I'll be back in just a second. Um, Miss <clears throat> Williams did qualify. We were just briefly going over her options. I wanted to see. Um, I, I think she has no prior history. I wanted to see if the state would consider doing a diversion referral. And then we could just, um, I just chatted, Mr. Crandall. Well, I'd like to put her on the October 6th calendar call. And okay. See what you can do with it between now and then. That's fine, Judge. All right. On uh, Willis, Miss Williams, uh, I want you to stay in touch with Miss Bauer, okay? She's going to help you see if we can get you through this. Yes, sir. So uh, you're saying October 6th, is that a court date? That's a court date. That's a court date. Okay. But it's in person. October, you stay in touch with her and let's see if we can get you into diversion if that's appropriate. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Stay in touch. Uh, Mr. Crandall, number 11 Williams. Ms. Uh, Bauer is going to represent her. Going to talk to you about possible diversion referral. Yes, sir. I'll get, I'll get on that today. All right. Number 12, Quentin Willis. What Judge, I don't think he appeared, did he? No, um, he announced speech trial, but he did not appear. What am I doing with him? Um, could we set him, well, could we set him for a calendar call and we'll see if we can get in touch with him to come then. Is that Mr. Hubbard? Um, that's Mr. Willis, position 12. We do represent him. Um, I, I have it on my phone that just showed up. I don't know if that's him or not. Mr. Hubbard, um, we had him down on the calendar as well, and he did complete his, um, I remember, Judge, you had gave him, I think, 12 anger management classes, and I want to say close upon um, completion. He did complete the um, anger management classes, and he did provide it to probation, but he is on the calendar for today as well. I don't think he showed up. I'm sorry, who are you talking about? 
position number three? I was talking about number 12, but okay. Hubbard, I know, he's a, he didn't show up. He's an in-person for now, September 12th. If okay. he doesn't show up, then I'm going to bench warn him. Okay. <laughs> What was he supposed to do, Ms. Crawford? He was supposed to complete the 12 anger management classes. He did provide that to us. He did or did not? He did. And then what was he supposed to do then? When I look him up on the on the system, I don't have him in here um, on my system. I have to get his file. Um, another probation officer gave it to me. He did send it in to her. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it a probation case? This is a new case that he's not planned on. Okay, because she see him on the calendar and she wanted me to let the courts know that he did complete the anger management classes. For well, what? Does he have another case? I'm guessing he may have another case. So I, I will get with her on that. So he has a prior, is that what we're talking about? He's on probation and he's he, is on, he is on probation. Let me let me go get that from um what's that, what's that case number? The case number on here is 22C. Well, on the on the position for the plea calendar is 22C04011. I know that. I'm asking about the case that he did the anger management on. Oh, yeah, that's it. She have it on the certificate. It is the 22C04011. Well, why is he doing the anger management if he hadn't played out? He must have played out. Let me get Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor came. Um, Miss Taylor brought it in to me. She told me to let the courts know that he did complete the anger management classes. Well, it says we said from 621 plea calendar, Cheryl. Do you, do we, what do we know about that? Or are we talking about Hubbard? This is Hubbard, number three. As far as I know, he's been reset to three or four uh, virtual plea calendars. And as Queenie has said, he doesn't ever show up. And his last court date was June the 21st, Judge, and that case is still open. Let me look in Odyssey and see if there's other cases. Right. And I have a note from the 24th of May from Demarius that says that uh, he had to take anger management classes and close on compliance and just plead to disorderly and per the bench, no opposition in light of the victim notes. So I'm not. I'm sorry, Miss. You were gobbled. I couldn't understand what you said. Okay, I'm sorry. I was saying I have a note from the 24th of May, another virtual plea calendar from Demarius that says that the final recommendation is the same whether you take it or not, but it says the final recommendation is to plead to the disorderly and just take anger management and it can close on compliance. So I'm not sure if there's a miscommunication that's what's going on here. Where Okay, he was first on the May 24th. That's probably when that was agreement was made. And then he was put over to June 21st for status compliance and then we had to continue him till today well was he supposed to do anger management ahead of time and close sounds like from what miss gibbs said he just went ahead and did it yeah and he submitted the anger management classes to us to probation well so i'm sure he thinks that he was supposed to just do the classes and close it and he did it and he's done. But all right, let's just can somebody that we're gonna put him on September 12th and we'll deal with it then. No, don't deal with it then. Just somebody sure, reach, sure. Out, reach out to him. Can we just Queenie, can you call keep trying to call him and tell him why he didn't find out, try to find out why he didn't show up, but go ahead and send him a notice, please. Okay. Yes, Judge. When did he submit the uh, anger management classes, please? Um, hold on a second. One second.
He's right next. Um, I don't remember the exact date that he submitted it to me, but he gave it to me soon after he got it done. And it, the course was completed on, on June the 5th, 2023. I'm ready. Four hours. June one. <clears throat> June fifth. June fifth. Okay. I mean, you know, four hours is like it sounds like a bond condition, but that's too late for bond. He's okay. Who, who has made the recommendation at that time, please, Ms. Gibbs? That was Mr. Newsom, Your Honor. Well, what was the recommendation? He did not put the number of anger management um, classes, Your Honor, on the, on the physical file. It just says pending anger management condition. Again, no amount of hours. Um, I know that the, the victim in the notes did say that we have you need to, worked on it. I, oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I'm back. I'm close to the mic. Um, the mayors did not leave the number of anger management classes that he recommended. And on the physical file, it just says pending anger management completion. So again, no number of hours. I think that the number, I don't know if it should be four hours, but I remember that with this case, the victim, said that you know they have a wonderful co-parenting relationship they have worked on everything and they're doing really well so that's the only guess i could make as to why um he would be allowed to just complete the anger management i'm not sure if four hours um, is enough but all right bring me in on uh, september 12th let's not bench more and then okay We need to see if we can just reach out to him, leave him, let him know what's going on. He might have just misunderstood and that the anger management class and thinks that he's done with the case. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. All right, number 12, Willis, he didn't show up. What do we want to do with him, Miss? Uh, you want me to put him on calendar call? Yeah, let's just put him on calendar call, see if we can get a hold of him. All right, October 6th. Yes, Judge. Actually, let's not put him on October 6th. Let's put him on September 12th in person, okay? Okay. Is that going to be 9 or 10.30? Okay. 9. Nine. Thank you. Okay. All right, everybody. That was painful. Oh, Ms. Power, on number 4, Nigel Jackson, this lady, were you on the phone when uh, I dealt with her through a death interpreter? I was on for a little bit. Um... Okay, so she lives out, she lives in Niagara. Oh, <laughs> New York? That's New awesome. York. She, there's been no contact with the victim. And I have to deal with a death interpreter. Uh, so I'm thinking that the state is going to get permission to see we can get her to submit one anger management class that she does up there in the state where no one to keep. I probably would need your assistant to manage her from the defense side. Um, okay, I can reach out. She would have to... Did she say she wanted us to represent her? I'm just going to appoint you. Okay, but she would still have to say that she wants us to represent her. I'm just going to appoint you. I'm going to tell her she wants you. Okay. Um, if she wants us to help her, then we can yeah. absolutely. Um, 
I'm going to put the pieces in place and I'm going to talk to her or send her an email. I'll copy everybody, okay? Okay. Um, um, we have, would the state accept um, online anger management? We do have some cheaper versions that I could send her links for. She can sign up. Um, that's that's not what I, you know. Okay. The answer is yes. Okay. 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 Yes, Judge. Okay. All right. So we need to um, circle back on number four, but otherwise, uh, I think everybody's accounted for. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, it was a little disjointed that throwing jail police in the middle, but we got done early. We did. <laughs> okay, everybody. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. See you all next week. Good day. See you next week. Have a good day, everyone. The sentences, and then I'll be back in touch with you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Judge. Welcome, you are. Thank you, everybody. What? I'm getting ready to leave. What are you doing?